I'm gonna show you how to curve text in InDesign in this tutorial. Now there is no warp like there is in Photoshop or Illustrator, but there is something called type on a path. And what we need to do is create a curved path and then we'll type on it. So you'll have curved text and we'll look at some of the type on the path options. A lot of people do this with a circle, but I'm gonna show you what I think is a better way and more customizable. Let's look at the line tool. The line tool, if we create a line out here, now we wanna hold shift because otherwise we might not create it perfectly horizontal. So let's hold shift and lock it into that perfect horizontal line and let go. The line should be approximately as wide as you would want the text placement to be. So we created a line out here. I'm gonna press V for my uh, selection tool. Just grab this line. And what I really wanna do is make sure it's aligned to the center. I'm gonna check, align to the spread, align to margin, doesn't matter, page. Just make sure it's aligned to the center. Now we're gonna zoom in a little bit. My line has a stroke, yours might not. So look in the appearance panel once you have that selected and maybe add a one point stroke so you can see it. Next, I'm gonna press P. That is the pin tool. Now the pin tool will add an anchor point in here and I wanna zoom in a little bit. So I add an anchor point right in the center. Would you already kind of see a handle here just kind of designating the center of the line? I'm gonna add an anchor point right there. If you're just slightly off, no problem. Now I'm going to press A for the direct selection tool, click and drag and grab that center point. Now if I hold shift and press my arrow keys up or down, I can start to curve this line. Now it's a sharp angle, but we'll make that adjustment here in a second. So we can also just press up and down on our arrow key if shift is too much, but just make sure it's enough that you can see it. Press P for that pin tool again and hold option or alt to grab the anchor point tool. Now we can create our own curvature out here. And yes, you could type on a path that's curved like this. I'm gonna show you how to create a nice little arc. I'm also holding shift while holding option or alt if you're on windows and i can create the curve that i want out here i'm going to drag it just a little bit out here like this let go and now i have an arc created the reason we did it this way is because we can just bump this arc up and down a little bit to adjust how flat or how steep our curve is so let's get some text on here. I can press T for the type tool. I can also press shift T and that changes the type tool to the type on a path tool. If we click on the beginning of this path, we can begin to type on our path just like that. Now, of course we would want this to be centered. So let's command or control A, select all, and then go down to our paragraph options and center that text in the middle here. Now, another thing you need to look at with the type on the path tool is the in and out point points of type on a path. So if we go to back to that selection tool and we have our path selected, there's a line with a square on it. And if we hover over it, we see a line with an arrow on our cursor. We can actually drag the in and out points of our type on a path from the edge to inside the edge. And depending on where you click, sometimes this is a little off. So you're gonna wanna make sure to pull these all the way out to the edge. If you accidentally click, it might link this to another text box. We don't want that, so just hit escape. Make sure you see that line and pull it out to the edge, looking at that arrow on the cursor, pull it out to the edge. Because when we center it, we want it to be directly centered. Now, obviously we've curved this text. I've got a little piece of text somewhere over here that I'm gonna grab, copy, Commander Control C, and I'm just gonna paste it in here because I've already formatted it and hit V and it's maybe a little big for this curve. So I'm gonna drop it down. There we go, about 50 point and I actually don't have the centering. So I'm gonna include the centering. So I've got this curve text out here that is curved. Now the way to edit this, press A for that direct selection tool. We can select this point right here and we can use our arrow keys to bump this curve up and down. This is what you can't do when you just create a circle. So we can use shift or we can just use our arrow keys, curve it this way, curve it that way, whatever you want to get the perfect curve. It's a little hard to work with if you're just working with the two end points. That's why we added one in the middle. To get rid of that stroke, with this selected, all you have to do is go to stroke and press zero on the stroke weight. And then I wanna show you some type on the path options. So we go up to type, down to type on a path. We can actually go to options. And inside these options with previous selected are some different effects. So rainbow might be what you wanna use, but skew will keep all the lines straight up and down. You also have 3D ribbon, stair step, gravity, any of these options, if any of them work for what you're trying to do. I'll stick to rainbow. Now we can flip this so it goes to the other side. You may or may not want that, kind of depends on which side of the curve you're trying to put the text on. 
we can also look at how it's aligned. So we can align it to the baseline. So it's aligned to the baseline of the text, or we could even align it to the center of the text, which might help you position this text around your page a little easier. You can adjust spacing if you need to. Uh, you can also adjust where it's centered on the path or where it's aligned to the path and hit OK. But all in all, that is basically how to curve text here in Adobe InDesign. And you simply need to type on a path and that path needs to be curved. There's different ways you can create it. I tried to show you an easy one so that we can make those adjustments here if we need to, just with the up and down arrow keys from the center of our path. But if you wanted to make a circle or you want to create your own path with the pen tool, you can totally do that. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below.